Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Some massive news for the Florida Gator fans coming out of the recruiting trail. Four-star wide receiver Joshua Moore committing to the Florida Gators. And for the Florida Gator fans, this one is an easy sell to all of you guys. 6'4", 205 pounds, dominant, big-bodied, boundary-wide receiver. This is the exact wide receiver that we've been asking the Florida Gators to go out and get on the recruiting trail over the last couple of weeks. And you look at most of the wide receivers that Billy Napier and the Florida Gators have brought in very good wide receivers, guys like Eugene Wilson, Andy Jean, Aiden Mizell, really fast wide receivers, wide receivers that can operate with the football in their hands, but not necessarily the biggest, most physically imposing wide receiver. And you go back to, that 2023 season, it was largely a skill set in that pass catcher room that the Florida Gators were probably missing. You look at Joshua Moore, he comes in and certainly answers those kind of questions. Fired up about this kid. The film is extremely fun to watch. Before we get into it, just want to say thank you to you guys, to the Florida Gator fans. It's going to be a busy next couple of weeks for the Gators on the recruiting trail. A lot of commitments to break down, the amount of support you guys continue to show. It's amazing. Can't thank you guys enough. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And without further ado, let's get into Joshua Moore and kind of an interesting wide receiver prospect where you look at some of the recruiting services, like 24-7 Sports, the 47th wide receiver in the class of 2025. But then you look at On3. On3 has him as a top 50 national prospect, the number of nine wide receiver in the 2025 cycle. And uh, after watching the film, reading about this kid, it, I kind of lean towards on three's evaluation. This guy is just a physically imposing wide receiver that can kind of be that matchup nightmare. But I mean, how physically dominant that he is at the catch point when that football is in the air, it's special. It's not only the frame at 6'4", 205, but it's the body control. It's the coordination. And this kid checks a lot of boxes in terms of what you want in a wide receiver working vertically down the field. But I mean, also can be that big body target that can work the middle of the field as well. I think Joshua Moore, I mean, fits exactly what you want in this Florida Gators offense. And you get into the film and just say, he's kind of a, a walking highlight. And these are the sophomore year. This is the sophomore year film for Joshua Moore. I couldn't find any on the junior year yet. This kid, I mean, the, the body control, the hand-eye coordination, the ability to operate in the middle of the field. I mean, this, this catch is... You want to get sold on Joshua Moore. I mean, the hand-eye coordination, the body control, staying on his feet, operating after the catch. It You kind of all see it in that clip, and you see him do a lot of different things, right? Working vertically down the field, there's just not many cornerbacks that can deal with the physicality that he has working vertically. Just kind of puts that cornerback in the dirt, obviously making the catch. But you kind of see him get really crafty in terms of how he uses his hands to separate late with, with uh, opposing cornerbacks. And then you see him in the red zone, say, dynamite red zone target. This is one of those guys that when the throwing windows get a little bit smaller, just throw it up to Joshua Moore, let him go make a play. Again, body control, hand-eye coordination, frame, it's all there for this cat. And then his ability to operate after the catch, again, he's not – you look at him versus Eugene Wilson, Eugene Wilson, very good after the catch, kind of in a different way, right? Eugene Wilson, just going to make people miss outrun people to the boundary, kind of a human joystick when he, <coughs> excuse me, when he has the football in his hands, you look at Joshua Moore and this is a guy that's just a, for opposing defensive backs, this is a massive, massive frame and body to bring down. You see him have some quickness some short area twitch to make people miss. And then got that long speed to kind of finish out the play. And this is a guy that can operate after the catch again, commands the middle of the field, just a big catch radius, a big target work in the middle of the field. He knows how to use that massive frame that he has. Joshua Moore checks a lot of boxes again, work in the middle of the field, being an animal after the catch. I really like this kid, but I think most importantly, I like the fit in this wide receiver room. And you take a look at what the Florida Gators are doing again, go up, make a play. Really, really good coordination. Take a look at Florida in this 2025 class. It's a quote-unquote slow start. This will be your seventh commitment of the 2025 cycle, but I'm a really big fan of what they're doing in this wide receiver room, right? You land Joshua Moore, but it sounds like they're not going to be nearly done in the wide receiver room. It sounds like Vernell Brown trending to the Florida Gators, and you talk about a perfect wide receiver duo. We talk about this all the time, having your wide receiver rooms 
really balance each other out, having a lot of different pass, ca- pass catchers that can do a lot of different things. Joshua Moore, your big-bodied boundary wide receiver that can be physical at the catch point, that can attack the deeper third. And then you got a guy like Vernell Brown, who I'll just say this, kind of reminds you of Eugene Wilson in terms of just the short area quickness, the ability to create separation, the massive ability after the catch. If Vernell Brown commits to Florida, I cannot wait to dive into his film because he's just an electric factory. And I think what Florida is telling Vernell Brown is, hey, you could be the Eugene Wilson in this Florida Gators offense because they have very similar skill sets. And you have your guy that can kind of work underneath, create separation, create after the catch. And then you have this and kind of physical freaking Joshua Moore that can just work vertically down the field that it's a pass catcher that safeties have to respect. Did Florida have that deeper threat third in 2023 that safeties had to respect? No, probably not. And that made it harder for guys like Eugene Wilson to operate underneath because a lot of coverage was kind of scrunched down on this Florida Gators offense. You kind of combined a guy like Joshua Moore and potentially Vernell Brown, that is a dynamic wide receiver room coming in for Florida in this 2025 cycle. That's not to mention you got DJ Lagway in the 2024 class, Will Griffin in the 2026 class. I look at life after Graham Mertz and say, you got some really talented wide receivers. You got some really talented quarterbacks coming into this program. I kind of fired up about what Florida is doing on the offensive side of the football on the recruiting trail We'll keep you guys updated as Florida continues to rack in the commitments. Joshua Moore, a massive commitment for the Gators. Again, appreciate you guys rocking with it. If you all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys, and we'll talk to you all later.